Greetings again. It's time for Shelf Life Book Reviews Online, where I present for you The Faithful Reader, a book that I very, very highly recommend. And the book this time out is a very interesting one. It's called Anna O by Matthew Blake. This is published by HarperCollins, and it retails for $40.99. When the book came out, it was uh, one of the most uh, widely anticipated books of 2024. Uh, it was immediately uh, a bestseller. It got a lot of controversy, um, a lot of great reviews, and uh, this is Matthew Blake's debut novel, and it's quite a debut. Uh, the book revolves around Anna O. Oh, her name is Anna Ogilvy, and um, in 2019 she killed two of her best friends, Indira uh, and David. Uh, they were at a retreat and supposedly um, she stabbed them to death. Uh, when they came into the room, they found the bodies, and they also found Anna O uh, in a state of sleep. Uh, they could not wake her up. This was 2019. And four years later, she is in that same um, coma-like sleep state. And uh, it has been referred to by uh, Dr. Benedict Prince, uh, who, who is a forensic psychologist, as resignation syndrome where when something traumatic happens, the person who, who experienced a traumatic uh, event uh, just uh, resigned pretty well to their fate and she stayed asleep. Now she's in a sleep clinic called the Abbey Clinic and uh, Dr. Virginia Bloom, uh, she's the one who chose um, Dr. Benedict Prince, uh, who goes by Ben, and uh, he's the one who studied her and uh, he's trying to figure out why uh, she is still asleep. Uh, he does uh, a lot of different things, like he plays music, he talks to her, he um, you know, gently touches her face, trying to get any sort of response. And a few times, he thinks he notices a very slight flicker of her eyelid or a twitch of her finger. And he thinks that eventually she will awaken. Now, others want her to awaken too, especially the authorities, because uh, apparently, she was the killer of two people. They found um, the knife in her possession. Her fingerprints were on it. There was blood on her clothing. So putting two and two together, everybody thinks she was the killer. Now the question is, as Ben tries to figure out, was she the killer? Is she being framed? Now also in the book um, are um, entries from Anna's sort of journal where she talks about uh, sleep issues that this is not the first time she has had them in the past and we she we start to wonder uh, Is she responsible for this or is it is she really well? She's not faking it because they've done all sort of tests um, The brain is active. It's is not like she's you know, just shut her eyes and she refuses to open them She is definitely in a in sort of a comatose sleep state so all through the book and it, the uh, the books a long one It's about 430 pages or so so it's definitely filled with a lot of questions. Now there are deaths as well too, and Benedict Ben uh, is even uh, suspected of a uh, death as well. So there's a lot going on in this book. It's definitely uh, a mystery, and no wonder people uh, considered it one of the best books of 2024, because it definitely has a lot of issues, questions, now, um, Anna O uh, does eventually uh, come back from the sleep state. And as we find out, that's when the interesting things happen because we can see a few things going on, like double crosses, uh, reasons why the two people were murdered and did she murder them. So it's definitely one puzzle after another. So uh, the author, Matthew Blake, has done a terrific job in his debut of creating a book that is suspenseful to the max and a book that will keep you guessing through every single page. So this is the very highly recommended book. If you do purchase it, please let me know if you do agree with my review. So thank you for watching this video review. Hopefully you have found it information filled and uh, it will help you when you decide, if you do decide to purchase the book, and I think you should because it's really, really noteworthy. So until we meet again, and we will with another great book, stay safe, stay sane, stay in touch, and I will see you at the bookstore. Bye for now.